All right, hi. We're going to uh, be working with some Cinti polygon characters here. The uh, purpose of this particular video is to show you um, very easily how we can uh, import these assets and get them moving and then start changing their parts around and, and their, their uh, materials and things like that. So um, let's, uh, let's begin here by creating a surface for our characters to stand on. So I'm going to create a plane. Um, and then, uh, just got caught in the last video, make sure you set the position to 0, 0, 0 um, so that it's uh, right there in the center of the screen. And then um, we're using the Basic Motions Free Pack from Kevin Iglesias. And if we look at his, so the Kevin Iglesias Pack, if we look at the Basic Motion Pack, we have six prefabs that we can work with. We're just going to drag Basic basic motions idle into the scene. It's going to drop our um, uh, the, the basic motions dummy for the idle down here right in the center of the screen. Now he's pointing the wrong way. All right, so let's rotate him. Change his Y rotation 180 degrees. And if we click on play here, we will see that he moves. How about that? Okay, now a um, couple things that maybe you did or didn't know about whoops about the uh, the way this all works. I'm gonna zoom in here now. This camera is right in the way, so I'm gonna just don't uh, uncheck the camera in the inspector, but you can click the little eyeball and make it invisible. We can also make that direction of the light, that sun up there, will make it invisible too for now. Um, is that you don't have to drag out a new prefab in order to change the animation controller. So there's all these uh, animations here, but we can actually just come over here to the controller. So I've clicked on basic motions dummy idle. All right, and I come over here, and if we click on this little dot, it'll bring up all of the animation controllers. So I can change it to run. Okay, click play. And we can also do this in runtime. So we can click on this in runtime and we can change the different animations. So if you're brand new to Unity like I am, um, this was kind of a big deal in discovering these these kind of uh, little tricks, I guess, um, as I was playing with it this week. So there we go. So now we've got our Kevin Iglesias basic motions dummy out there, and we don't need him anymore. So we're going to click on him and hide him. You could probably delete him, but we're just going to hide him for now. All right, so now in our assets pack, we're gonna to go to our Polygon Fantasy Characters. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says Prefabs and then just pick one. I'm gonna pick the Queen. All right, so if I drag out the Queen, I'm gonna drag her onto where it says Basic Motions Dummy. If I go underneath it, I'm gonna get an error message that says cannot restructure prefab. What I need to do is drag onto the words basic motions dummy and then it will add our prefab uh, to the basic motions dummy just like the original model was added. But it won't work. So if I click play, okay, she doesn't animate. So how can I make her animate? All right, I click on basic dumb motions dummy idle and then if I come over here to the avatar, all right, now notice there are four avatars here. Uh, the dummy avatar from the basic motions uh, pack, and then we have characters avatar, which is from Polygon Dungeon. We have Polygon Fantasy Characters, and then this one is the Fantasy Characters Fixed Scale avatar. So we want the uh, Polygon Fantasy Characters um, avatar. So if I click on that from the avatar section of the animator, click play, all right, then she animates. Okay, now we can switch the characters. Uh, so I'm in runtime right now. So if I just check the character female queen, I can actually switch it to the king character simply by clicking on the one I want to show. I mean, I can even have two of them displayed at the same time. Okay, so all right, so we're going to click play. And then we can come over here to our mats, and I'm actually going to do it from Polygon Fantasy Characters here. All right, so we have lots of different materials available. Now there, there's coding here. So A, B, and C represent skin tone. 
So I'm going to zoom in on our model a little bit more. Wow. Here's B. All right, slightly darker. Here's C. Whoops. All right. So, and then the other ones, so uh, Matt 2 will change the color of the character's clothes. And then B and C will keep the same clothing color but change their skin. All right, so here's Matt 3 will change again the clothing color. Um, and then A, B, and C changes the skin tone. That seems to be the, um, the way the polygon uh, characters work uh, with Cinti. So um, that's going to be it for this particular video, but I'm going to follow it up with one where I show you um, the kind of things you need to think about when you're using multiple uh, polygon packs from Cinti at the same time.